to my 2015 tab trailer. Uh, this is another video in the upgrade series of videos that I'm building for my trailer. Um, a lot of you have trailers like mine have an Aldi heater system. Um, those are really sweet heaters. They heat hot water. They heat your room. They're really nice, but people have a lot of complaints about them. Um, one, due to their complexity, and two, that they've got some issues. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about how to, how to improve your situation with your Aldi. Specifically, this particular Aldi controller, this is the older style. You may have the newer style, you may have the older style, depends on the year of your trailer. And they're interchangeable. I could take this old style off and put a new style in, and I'd be good to go. But this is a 3010. Um, one of the problems that people have, especially with the digital ones, is they'll set the temperature and they'll look at the temperature that the thermostat says, and the thermostat may say 80 degrees, but the room, the trailer, the room, may be 60 degrees. There's a major difference between what the Aldi system says and what the room temperature actually is. Now, a lot of people talk about how you can do a calibration and that is true and the calibration will help but it won't solve the fundamental problem that's going on here and I want to show you that fundamental problem um, there are four screws on the perimeter of this guy and you can take them off and this guy just lifts out and there are the wires and if I wanted to replace this Aldi you can see I would just unplug that plug and put a new digital controller on here it's that easy um, change the size of the hole no big deal. But this is what I want to talk about. Inside this thermostat is on the side of it there's a hole and if you look inside there you can actually see the temperature sensor that's actually measuring the temperature of the air. But think about it. When this is screwed up against the wall it's measuring the temperature of the air in the wall. See how that wall is hollow? It's measuring that temperature. It may say right now, it may say that, that, that the air that it's measuring is 60 degrees, but it might be 70 out here. That's a problem, and that's just natural. Now, if you're a, uh, a, a regular home contractor or general contractor, you're aware of this problem. And general contractors will always, behind the thermostat in your home, they'll stuff this area full of insulation. What that does is it insulates the electronics, it's measuring air temperature, it insulates it from the wall so that it can better measure what's happening out here, right? Piece of cake. All you have to do is take those four screws off. Now you all recognize this. This is just bat insulation. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's yellow. This just happened to be some spare that I had. All I'm going to do is stuff a bunch of this in that hole. Um, just take it, tear it, and start stuffing it in the hole. No big deal. Stuff it up, stuff it down. All right, I'm going to take a little bit more. I want to stuff it in that hole. That's what general contractors do, right? So that the, the temperature that your thermostat is measuring in your home is the actual temperature of the air out here, not the temperature of the air in there. As the problem is, is if you set your thermostat to bring the, bring the room up to 70, this room can come up to 80 before the air in there gets to 70. It's really ugly. So that's it. All I had to do was stuff that with the... Uh, with insulation, put that guy back in, put those four screws in place, and now my thermostat will, will not perfectly, but it will much better represent the actual temperature of the room, not the temperature of the air in the wall, because it's insulated from that wall. Anyway, thought I would give you that little tip, a little upgrade, that'll really help you be more comfortable in your trailer if you have an Aldi um, heater. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.